someone else's issues, problems, circumstances, and or situations. Yeah. But yeah. most of all, they're saying, and when it's all said and done, you thirst. But all you get is vinegar on a sponge. You don't even get to suck on the sponge to get the effect of the vinegar. Someone just squeezes it for a second or two, and that's it. Can you do this and not complain, not cry, not fuss or put up a fight? Well, Jesus did it for us. I know you're probably saying, I'm not doing that for anybody. But the good news is, Jesus did it for all of us, and he didn't even know us. He could have come off the cross to save himself, but he didn't. He pleaded to his father saying, Father, forgive them, for they know not what they do. Even in the midst of this situation, he still had our best interest at hand. Maybe you cannot imagine this situation of being nailed to a cross, so let's put ourselves in a different place than hanging on the cross. Some of us, or most of us, are from the south. And we made it cold when we had to go into the field and pick cotton or corn, vegetables, or even beans. No matter what it was, we had to pick it in order to eat. Now, it's a humid and hot day in Durham, North Carolina. And I mean it's hot and it's in the high 90s or higher. And the sun is beaming on you and you feel like a pan of bacon cooking in hot grease. And you become thirsty but you can't get any water from anywhere or from anybody, but you're dying in need, and someone just brings you a sponge with a taste of vinegar on it and expects you to continue as you were. Will you be, what would be your reaction? Do you continue on picking, or do you fall out from dehydration? Do you murmur, or do you complain? And which would you do, one of them or all of them? Well, Jesus endured it all. There's a song that's recorded by the great pastor Marvin Sapp that goes something like this. It's titled, Thirsty. Yes. My soul is thirsty. Yes. My soul is thirsty for you. As the deer is thirsty for the water, so does my song so long for thee. My spirit needs refreshing. Father, I'm thirsty, thirsty for you. Yes. Let me drink from the fountain that never shall run dry, the fountain of everlasting life. For if I drink of your water, I will never thirst again. Let me draw from your living well. As I come to a close, I'm reminded of John 7, 37 and 38 that says, in the last day, that great peace, Jesus stood and cried and said, if any man thirsts, let him come unto me and drink. He that receiveth on the on me, as the scripture has said, out of his belly shall flow rivers Get the of living water. So as we, God's people, observe Good Friday on today, remember not only did Jesus serve, but remember on this day, you have the opportunity of a lifetime to drink from the well that never shall run dry. And that the Lord our God is the creator of heaven and earth. He's the king of kings. He's the Lord of lords. But most of all, he's a quench pleaser. He will quench your every thirst. So you don't have to thirst any longer. Will you get your thirst satisfied today? God bless you. Amen.